Hello and welcome. This is your introductory video on getting to our Google account, our calendar reservation system on that Google account, as well as your Slack. Let's get started. You're going to go to, you already got that email from me, you're going to go to mail.tinkermill.org and you're going to type in your name that I'd listed in your email. This is jimmy.tester uh, and then you're going to type in that silly password that comes along with it that will get you in you'll accept those terms and conditions this will set up your google account next you're going to create your own password whatever it is you'd like hope you hope that you make it strong whenever you're ready to log back in your email name first name dot last name at tinkermill.org and now your password is what you set it up to be. This is what the screen will look like when you first arrive. You do get an email here with us. It's not necessary to use it. Shop captains do use it though. You're going to go up to that waffle and find your calendar. This is where your reservations will happen here. Space reservations to be specific. A lot of things pop up. Oh my, dismiss, dismiss. I like to look at the month, but you have some choices there. You have your own calendar, some birthdays, some holidays. You're going to click this plus button here and find those other calendars. That's in Browse Resources. We have the back bay. Those are the outside. And then we have the main building inside. Lots of options to reserve. You can reserve the classroom, the jewelry making shop, the pottery wheel, stained glass. Let's find the laser cutter right there. When I click the check mark, it adds it to my calendars. Let's find some more to add. Shopbot. Mm. What are you going to add, Jimmy? Let's look in the back bay. Okay, blacksmithing. Cool. Notice how they appear on the left hand. Do a couple more, some machine, the CNC milling machine you could reserve. Okay, now we got a lot. We're gonna do a lot here, I guess, Jimmy. All right. You're gonna click that back button to get out of settings and you'll notice the calendar now has many more appointments on it. I've added all these calendar resources. We're gonna uncheck a bunch so we can focus in on just the laser. So here you have the laser calendar. I have it checked off on the side so it populates onto my calendar. I'm going to add an event. To add a reservation, you click onto the date that you want and you add your name. You're going to want to find a good time. We'll try 145 and we need to add the room. I'm going to search for the laser. Hmm, it does not appear available rooms only. Okay, maybe someone's using the laser at that time. Let's see. Yep, they've got it registered for two, so let's change it. We're going to start our reservation at 2.30. Add a room. Now it, now it comes up. There's the, your laser cutter. You can also drop it down and search for it. There it is, laser cutter. You could click it there, or you could search at the top. You're going to click that back button to get back to your event registration. You have your name, you have the date, the time, and the room. When you click save, this is going to populate onto your calendar. It's going to first appear blue because that's you. And then it will also show up on the laser cutter calendar. There it is. This lets everyone else know that you are wanting to use the laser at that time. If you need to edit or cancel the event, you'll click on the event. There's an edit option. There's also a delete button and then it's gone. It's removed from your calendar and it will also go away off of the laser calendar. Next, we're going to go to Slack. That is tinkermill.slack.com and you're going to sign in with Google. Mine has already popped up because I'm already because I'm already logged in, but if you do have to type it in, that's that jimmy.tester at tinkermill.org and the password that you set up. And again, more agreements to sign off on. I 
and you're in. Let's do it. Choose a few of the people you work with. This is stuff is not necessary. That you could click. I'll do it later. But oh look, there's me. Uh, let's let's make Monica our friends. Add one teammate. Lovely. On the left hand side is where you see channels and direct messages, general channel and the Comfy Cows channel, but there's many more. You're going to click that plus button and browse channels. We have 167 channels currently. Let's look for some. Woodshop is a popular one. You're going to click join. And since we've been picking on the laser cutter, let's go there. If I search for the laser here, you'll notice the laser cutter is a channel. And it's going to pop up on the left here. And look, it's bolded, which means there's new content in there for me to see. Let's click on it. It's the robot telling me things. The robot will do that sometimes. Notice that it says only visible to you. Our Slack channels are amazing resources and community building opportunities. It's also where things about classes might get posted. You could ask about classes in our channels. Sometimes instructors will post information about upcoming classes there. It's especially helpful if you end up having questions or maybe break a machine and are needing some help. Post in the channel. We're here to help you. You could also send messages to people. I clicked that little paper and pencil up there and found Monica and said hi. And sometimes I'll write back. Let's see what else. Comfy couch is where we say thank you to people. If you drop down the Tinker Mill, You'll find other opportunities to set your preferences. This is where you have your notifications. I would encourage you to set it up how you'd like so that you can stay informed when things are happening. And I sincerely hope this was helpful. Of course, always reach out if you have questions. You can always email the Tinker Mill here, info at tinkermill.org, and that goes to our admin team as well as shop captains if you ever need help. Thanks for being here.